Good morning and welcome to San Antonio Living. I'm Shelly Miles in for Leslie Bull Jones. And this is something that may change the way you wear your high heels. And it could save you from feeling all that pain in your foot, but would you believe it actually took a rocket scientist to come up with it. <laughs> yeah, see, there's the rocket and the scientist. We're gonna tell you what is the driving force behind Insolia right into a very interesting subject. As women, we love to wear high heels. I don't know that we love them. We're forced to wear high heels. <laughs> and, and we actually hate it, in fact. But there's something on the market that could change the way you wear your high heels. And like we told you before, it took a rocket scientist to come up with it. This is Brian Hughes. You're seeing in the video there. And that is his rocket. He actually is a graduate from MIT. He came down here to uh, the San Antonio Living Studios to show us how his shoe inserts work and uh, prove to us that, yes, he really, truly is a rocket scientist. And he joins us here this morning. Okay, rocket scientist is not just a term. It's, it's actual truth. You are one. I used to be CEO of the American Rocket Company, and, yes, we made loud noises in the desert with very loud rockets. And you showed us your rocket, and yeah. I, I really didn't get it, but we it looked fun. real. I believed it, so <laughs> it really looked like a rocket to me. It was a small rocket. That particular motor had been used as a demonstrator, and I fired that in the Pentagon um, on Capitol Hill. Had lots of fun with that toy. Well, you got together with some people to come up with Insolia. And tell us what it is, first of all. Well, what Insolia is, is Insolia is uh, an invention of Dr. Howard Dannenberg, who's mm -hmm. a podiatrist up in New Hampshire. And basically, his patients had sort of told him, so if you're such a great guy, make me high heels I can walk in. Uh -huh. So that challenge was served out almost 20 years ago. Now it's taken a lot of work because realize the problem of high heels has been around for over 400 years. Mm -hmm. So it took a while. Now when I was, I was on the show a couple of years ago when we had a version of Insolia, okay here we have a shot of what's the problem. Yes. And what you can see there is you, women know the problem, the weight is sliding down from the heel to the ball of the foot. Right. And it's that, that is where the most pain is, the ball of the foot. It feels like you're standing on the hardest surface ever. Right. And so the, the real insight of Dr. Dannenberg was, now most products go at the ball of the foot because that's where the pain is. Right. But the answer is back at the heel to stop that weight from sliding down. So what Insolia is, and now what we have here is a pressure map. And the one there on the left of the screen is the pressure you see in a standard three inch heel. And you can see the pressure there. And women know what, you know what that feels like. Now the, pre the map on the right shows how the pressure has been shifted to the heel. Now this is the same shoe with the same woman. And all we've done is <laughs> add Insolia to it. This package has been There thrilled. we go. Okay. Yeah, let's show everybody. Because basically what this insert does is take the pressure off the ball of your foot and force you to step a little bit more on the heel yeah. of your foot. Right, so it comes in this package and it's actually sh in the package at the back of the heel to show you where it goes. Okay. Because if you put it in the ball of the foot, it doesn't work. Now, I'll, I'm going to open this one up very quickly. Okay. And I have my handy dandy sample shoe here. Okay. So what happens is the insolia goes back at the back of the shoe. And then what it's doing there is it stops the woman's weight from sliding down to the ball of the foot. Right, because there's a little bit of a tiny bump that's going to go under the arch of your foot, and it sort of lifts the the weight off the foot. What it's, what it it's doing is it's I'm getting a little technical here. There's the big bone of the heel is called the calcaneus, and it just takes that bone and lifts it up slightly. And that rocking of the heel back causes you to sit back on your heels and go from 75-25 weight distribution to close to 50-50. And that makes all the difference. Well, you know, we wear a lot of high heels here at San Antonio Living. So we got all the girls together and uh, we basically brought our high heels in to San Antonio Living. We got some of the inserts and that's me putting one in those shoes. I hate them. And, you know, they're yeah, cheap little shoes. trying to open the package. <laughs> that I wear all the time, but they hurt the ball of my feet. And I think you really summed it up great for me because what this does is it extends the time that you can wear, wear your shoe. Absolutely. So like my shoes, I would say I could wear them maybe two hours without throwing them away. And when I put the insert in, I could get away with four to six hours, almost right. a whole day without feeling the pain I felt earlier. There's Leslie trying hers on and they go in any shoe, right? Any kind of shoe you and, can come yeah, up with. That's one of the nice things. It's held in place with an adhesive and it's a clear part so it vanishes in the shoe. Now let's see, who do we have there? Oh. That's me. Oh, it's, hello, oh. it's me. Okay, there you are. Yeah, Getting look at me talk. suffering through the pain of high shoes. <laughs> then I put on those things, and they see it really does. You can feel it kind of pushing under the arch of your foot. So we had everybody wear these around for a couple of days, see what they thought, and uh, we checked back in with all of the living staff, and here's what they had to say about Insolia. 
All right, I've been wearing the inserts for the last couple of days. They're in these shoes, which I love, but they're way too high. And what I noticed right away was that it makes me stand up taller and that I don't feel the pressure on the ball of my foot. And it really has extended the wear time. Usually it's only maybe an hour. Now I can wear them for about three or four hours and they don't kill my feet. So to me, that's a huge improvement. Thumbs up on that. I could tell a slight difference, but it wasn't like they made my high heels comfortable enough to wear all day. I wore the two inch high heels with the inserts in them and I felt a moderate difference. I definitely recommend the product. It works great and I was able to wear them a little bit longer than normal. I put the inserts in my, what I call my going out shoes, which I normally wear only when I go out for a few hours. And with the inserts, I was able to wear them for a full day at work walking around. So for me, they really made a difference with my shoes. So everyone pretty much liked them, whether it extended it for just a couple of hours or like Karina, one of our producers there, has been wearing... Her going out shoes, y'all, are this big. They're like four-inch <laughs> heels. So she was wearing those around the office all day. And it does, it does feel... It, I mean, you do feel your body lift up and you stand a little bit taller and it's, it's interesting because it's the first product I've seen that isn't just a tiny little cushion that you put at the bottom right. of your, the ball yeah, of your foot. I mean, the interesting thing too is because it actually does something, we actually have sizes mm -hmm. I and mean, that's most products in the, in the foot care category are one size foot all, which means they can't do much. Right. We actually sell four sizes, but at the mass market at HEB and CVS, you'd find two sizes and the other thing about it is, you know, there's kind of this variable response. So, you know, Karina had what I call kind of the evangelical response. Sure. You stand up, ah. you go, hallelujah. Yeah. Um, and I think Don's response was one of, well, she was also at, at the edge of the size range. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, a little bit of improvement, but, you know, not major. But what's obviously as an engineer, I love the kind of reaction Karina got there. Yes, and Karina's heels high. The, the inserts work best in a two-inch heel. Is that the two to three two inches? Two to three-inch heels. And we've got, I mean, we wear four-inch heels around here because right. we like to look tall. So. Yeah, I think there's a market for Insolia Extreme <laughs> yes, watching you ladies. <laughs> I know. Well, very interesting. And of course, the, the cool thing about it is the science behind all of it. And that's where you came into play. Right. Well, basically what I did is Dr. Dannenberg handed me a sort of a hand-carved prototype. And actually when I was on air, this is about where we were at. We uh -huh. knew we were working on something. We took that and did some engineering to come up with this. And we did all this work here in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And we did the test with that and found out, my goodness, it was as good and actually better than the original. And then our first thing we came up with the version that fits inside in a shoe. shoe. And because that's our original business was just making something to fit inside a shoe. And then we came up with that. And while we were testing this, the woman said, you know, stop putting it underneath. Put it on top. Boom. And all of a sudden we realized. And ta-da. Th there we are there with the product. There we are. Look at that.